Ooh, so what has Jim got here? Check this out. Have I got a new bike? Hmm, well, you're gonna have to see. Tune in and watch the video. Roll the titles. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody and guess where I am? That's it, I'm at uh, Ling's Triumph in Norfolk, Watton. Well I'm about to take this little puppy out for a spin. Here we have the Trident, I think he said it's a 660 engine. This is the very base model. Um, I've got it for 40 minutes so uh, I'm going to take it for a spin. See how she performs. But uh, yes, it's only got two modes he said. It's got uh, rain and normal. This is absolutely dinky compared with my uh, the bike that I'm used to riding. So without further ado, let's take it for a spin. No quick shifter or anything on this. This is absolutely dinky. <laughs> let's do a third gear overtake. Oh, that revved out, hit the rev limiter on that one. <laughs> Probably want to turn it in fourth gear or turn to change the gears a bit quicker, Jim. Dear, oh dear. So like I was saying, this is the base model that we have here. It's only got the two modes, rain and normal. I'm in normal at the minute. Uh, it doesn't have a quick shifter, none of those gimmicks. Um, I'll put all the uh, details down in the description down below. Yeah, pulls very nicely. Tell you what, it's quite quiet. <laughs> Can't hear the exhaust. Let's catch these guys up. So yes, like I was saying, I've got the bike for 40 minutes, let's have a look around it then. So like I was saying, base model, uh, got it in normal mode at the minute, it's only got normal or rain mode. Uh, there's no uh, quick shifter, as you can see there, cable clutch, adjustable, uh, not adjustable on the clutch lever, but adjustable on the brake lever, which ain't too bad. Very, very basic, not too bad, very short wheelbase, very small compact little bike so far. Also middleweight engine, uh, let this guy pass. Uh, looking at the speedo then, so what we have is pretty simplistic. Got your rev counter, speedo, what gear you're in, got the time, nicely done, and uh, the date, time and date underneath. That's, uh, yeah, it's pretty nimble. Tiny little, uh, tiny little bike, quite nice. Well, uh, I'll pull over at some point and uh, we'll have a look at the fitment and finish. Have a talk about that. And uh, but so far, yeah, not too bad. Let's do a quick brake test with no one behind me. Oh yeah, very nice. Nice uh, one finger operation. Brakes very nicely. No worries there. We'll uh, get this lorry out of the way and then uh, We'll see how she handles fourth gear rolling overtakes. Let's have a look. Yeah, that ain't too bad. Right, pull in here. Let's have a closer look. So there's a, uh, a closer look at the dash there. Um, you can see there, there's your warning symbols on there. So let me know, engine light, all light, and uh, your neutral sign. So let me know that I'm in neutral. Let's have a a closer look at it. Let's have a look at the uh, fit and finish of this bad boy. So, the I think this is retailing. I'll put the price up on the screen because uh, I think you're looking at around seven and a half thousand. I think it was. So there's the the standard can on there. Hmm. It looks like you've got. Uh, looks like that's where you top the oil up, and it looks like you've got another secondary one down there as well. Hmm hill plates they're gonna get scuffed up but uh, yeah don't look too bad does it yeah tiny little thing what we got there show of forks on the front 
Nissan brakes on the uh, front as well. I'm guessing it's Nissan on the back as well. Looks like it's uh, data tagged as well. God, remember back in the days with the Yamaha data tagging. This is a nice little touch as well, where they've put the um, we uh, what you call it? We pump up the tires. Bloody, I'll get my words out. Which is nice. I hate it when you got the ones that just stick up. The valves that just stick up. Let's see if we got it on the front as well. They've done that. Yes, they have. See, that is really nice. ABS, there's the ABS ring. Yeah, ain't too bad. Two little tiny little indicators. I don't think I'd want to be sitting on the back though. If you've got your, your missus or your, your geezer, because we're obviously we're in the 21st century. Can't miss out, uh, can't be too, uh, got to be a bit more diverse. So, yeah, so uh, there's the shock in there as well. Single motor shock in the back. Tiny little indicators. I'm guessing if you're going to get one of these, you're going to want to rip this off. So that's obviously Euro compliant, isn't it? You've got to have that on the back. But, uh, yeah, nice looking bike. Triumph Trident. Check that out. I have just noticed one thing, though. Look at this. Down here. See where the horn is? Look at that, all that exposed. If you're doing any serious um, riding... In the winter, not that you uh, I'm guessing you probably won't do if you've got one of these bikes, but if you're commuting, if you use it as a commuter, that's going to get, I'm guessing you're going to have some issues with that. Look at that, it's all exposed, it's a bit naughty. Right, let's get back on this puppy and uh, let's have a talk, let's have a chat. So, just uh, to give you some idea dimensions, then obviously I'm six foot one and uh, I weigh about 200 pounds and uh. This is quite comfortable to be honest, my knees are fitting in there quite nicely, I'm not too cramped, I'm uh, not hunched over, reach to the bars is nice, seat is, uh, seat is quite firm, firm to hard I would say, and uh, suspension is also uh, firm to hard as well. This would be ideal, this type of, this little Triumph Trident would be um, ideal for someone who's just like getting into biking, first time buyer. It's, uh, it's a nice little uh, piece of kit and for, uh, what did I say, seven and a half thousand I think it is I'll, tell you, I'll put the price up on the uh, screen is uh, if you can afford it, you get it on their finance deals um, yeah, I don't think you go too wrong fit and finish on it is pretty good it's got a nice turn of speed as well it's not going to get you into too much trouble which is very nice and it looks good as well. Paint, paint scheme looks pretty good on it. It's up there with a uh, Honda. National speed limit. Right, let's go. So uh, this button here is your mode button. So obviously, no, you go, mate. So where we've got on here, I'm in road mode there. And then we can switch that to rain mode. Can you do it on the fly? Yeah, you can do it on the fly. So that's rain mode. And that's back to road. Let's see what these do. What's this do? Oh, that switches. So you can go left and right as well. Look at that road. Then, yeah. So then, uh, let's switch through these modes then. So what we have here is we have uh, got a trip meter, average speed. It's got there, average time or time, 13, 11. And then what we've got here? fuel status we're doing oh real time 53 miles to the gallon i'm only doing 42 miles an hour 135 miles to the next tank to fill it up and average of 56.7 miles to the gallon there's your engine temperature keep cycling through and then it's got your, your next services that's december 2022 or 92 miles and this bike is done 498 miles yeah not too bad and then if uh, we go back there you can change obviously the the settings for this screen, how bright it is, blah blah blah. So this must be a new thing, I've never seen this before. See that, you've got like a little bit of metal in there, so you can't put your, your pipe in there and overfill it, overfill the tank. How mad is that? Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think this is a uh, good for a, a first person on their bike? Who's it? Oh, bloody hell, bumpy long here. Or um, 
Yeah, what do you, what do you think? It's a nice little middleweight. Is it priced nicely? Do you think it's too expensive? Nearly £8,000. What could you get second hand, potentially? And, uh, yeah, let me know. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. So like always say, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way, every time this idiot uploads a video, you get notified. And that, my friends, is uh, Jim Diesel, out. Thank you.